Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is the 13th episode of my Black Ops 2 Weapon Guide. This time, we're covering the Peacekeeper. The first DLC weapon ever seen in Call of Duty, the Peacekeeper is a fully automatic post-launch addition to the SMG category. An entirely fictional weapon, the Peacekeeper takes on the appearance of a carbine-length assault rifle, with some visual traits similar to that of the real-life AAC Honey Badger. Both the Peacekeeper appellation and the blue and white camo scheme would seem to indicate that this weapon is associated with the United Nations forces, presumably for use on peacekeeping missions. The manufacturer logo on the side reads Arbiter, and the side decals also give an insight into this future weapon's supposed caliber, namely FN's PDW cartridge, as used by the P90 and 5.7, the 5.7 by 28mm round. In game, the Peacekeeper is a low damage SMG. You'll need four body shots to kill up close, or three shots where one is a headshot. At a distance, you may need up to six shots to kill. However, thanks to the unusually long range of this SMG, you can almost always expect to kill in four or five shots. This means damage output is remarkably consistent out to a middle range, and it's towards the end of its four hit kill zone where the Peacekeeper's ability shines best. Penetration capability is elevated above the other SMGs, its performance through walls somewhere between the SMG default and that of a typical assault rifle. Rate of fire is relatively slow, at 750 rounds per minute. This is the same output as the PDW and MSMC, but the Peacekeeper requires an additional shot to kill at a close range. Rapid fire elevates this output up to a potential 1136 rounds per minute. Hipfire spread is the same as any other SMG, but the slower rate of fire and lower per shot damage means you will generally fare much better while aiming. Recoil is low, not absent by any means, but the Peacekeeper is stable enough to tackle enemies comfortably at middle ranges. At an extreme range, you will need to burst fire to remain effective. Aim time is slower than average for the SMGs, and is instead on par with the Assault Rifle class, at 250 milliseconds. It's also worth noting that the innate zoom level of the Peacekeeper is the Assault Rifle default, at 1.35 times, slightly higher than a typical SMG. Movement speed is as the SMG class default, however, meaning you'll move at 100% of the maximum base speed. Magazine capacity is fairly average, at 30 rounds. Typical for an Assault Rifle, but a little short by comparison to the other SMGs. Reloads are pretty quick, however, at around 1.9 seconds for a tactical reload. Our build with the Peacekeeper will help reinforce its middle range role. A mobile marksman class focused on accurate shot placement. As the Peacekeeper is a fairly versatile weapon, we'll be taking a weapon centric approach to our class. And so we elect the primary gunfighter wildcard to permit three attachment choices. Our first attachment choice is the quick draw handle. As the Peacekeeper is less effective from the hip, Accuracy is important, and the slower than usual aim time for an SMG means you'll see greater overall benefit with this attachment. Quick Draw will allow you to snap onto targets and start pumping accurate lead onto your enemy almost immediately, resulting in you winning more gunfights overall. Next up, the Reflex Sight is a luxury that will afford a better sight picture and assist in tracking moving targets. While the Iron Sights certainly aren't terrible on the Peacekeeper, for a weapon so reliant on shot placement, the all-round view on target the reflex grants is definitely worth its point. A worthy alternative here would be the MMS, especially given the Peacekeeper's elevated penetration ability. Finally, our third attachment is Fast Max, lessening your weapon's downtime and reducing the need for a secondary backup by improving the speed of your reload. This will help in situations where your enemy is rapidly approaching your position. A quicker reload will mean you can return to aiming down your sights in anticipation of your foe. Our perk selection is designed to keep your sights clear and on target, while enhancing the SMG's innate maneuverability. Our tier 1 choice is Lightweight. This will allow you to keep up with even the fastest of opponent, and will ensure you can reach the perfect firing location while spending the least time exposed. In tier 2, Toughness is an almost essential choice to ensure incoming fire doesn't hamper your ability to secure a kill. This is vital for a weapon such as the Peacekeeper, where even at a close range you will need to land four shots in succession. A rock-steady firing platform will greatly enhance your performance. Next up, we'll be using the Perk 3 Greed wildcard, 
to load up on the final tier of perks for Duofold benefit. First up, Tactical Mask will help ensure your enemy's tactical grenades won't affect your accuracy or mobility. Even under a barrage of flashes and stuns, your sights will remain clear and your movement unhindered. Finally, Dexterity will allow you to change up your location as the situation permits with reduced penalty. The faster sprint recovery improving the time it will take to bring up your sights. That's our build. A blend of mobility and marksmanship. Designed to get into position and unleash a continuous output of incredibly accurate fire. The Peacekeeper's blend of SMG and assault rifle traits make for an interesting approach to gunfights. You should seek to remain on the move to keep enemies within your grasp, but avoid uncomfortably close quarters as to preserve your mid-range advantage. Flitting from cover to cover is generally a good idea, taking advantage of the full run speed and dexterous traits we've selected. Anticipation of your enemy's movement is vital. Instead of rushing headlong into the fray, you want to hang back just a little and instead suppress the enemy from an advantageous position. The Peacekeeper is a versatile SMG that can reach out to longer ranges like no other weapon in its class. Designed as an assault rifle and SMG hybrid, the weapon takes the rapid handling and maneuverability of the former with the lower recoil and consistent range damage of the latter. The net result is an adaptable weapon that rewards accurate players with reliable performance. However, the Peacekeeper does suffer from poor close quarter performance. A slower rate of fire and low close range damage will leave you at a significant disadvantage when facing conventional SMGs. Likewise, a typical assault rifle will generally have the upper hand at longer distances, with such weapons boasting lower recoil or better range damage. Still, the Peacekeeper is very able in mid-ranged engagements, and the weapon's favourable handling characteristic means it's a flexible choice when compared to the more specialised weapons. If you bear these limitations in mind, and try to force anticipated engagements at a middle range, the multifaceted Peacekeeper will shine. As the old saying goes, if you wish for peace, prepare for war. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me next week when I'll be covering the Combat Knife. Until then, farewell.